Someone will expose painful truths. Someone will expose painful truths. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for somebody. Someone will expose painful truths about you. And this is what God has to say about that. And this word is coming to us from the book of 2 Samuel. We see the story of David and we see the, from chapter 11 and 12, we see the story of David, how he falls with Bathsheba, Kill, gets Bathsheba pregnant, kills Uriah, who is Bathsheba's husband, and all along did not even realize that what he did was bad. Until God had to send a prophet, Nathan, to David. And when the prophet explained the scenario of what David had done, David was so angry. He said, show me the person that did this. I will kill him. I will personally kill him. And when the prophet said, you are the one, David broke down and began to fast and pray and cry to God for mercy. But what struck me in that story is the fact that even when David heard this story, David, it did not occur to David for one second that he was the one. You know why? Because we are always right in our own eyes. Most often, the best of men is always correct in their own eyes. So you need some other person who loves you enough, who cares for you enough, who is bold enough. To tell you some painful truths about some of the mistakes that you do to correct you. You need someone who is objective enough to be able to correct you. Because the best of men is always right in their own eyes. And isn't it amazing that David wanted to kill the person that did that. But the moment he realized he was the one. He started crying for mercy. He didn't tell Nathan, say, he didn't tell the prophet, stone me to death, I deserve to die. Because we are always lenient with ourselves. But we need someone to always tell us the truth. And God is saying, no matter how painful the truth might be, no matter how hard you might think it came, forget the pain and take the lesson. Forget the pain, forget the ego, and correct the mistakes. God will speak to you through anybody. Sometimes we don't like the vessel through which the correction came. But God says, forget about all of that. Humble yourself and take the correction. I don't know who this word is for, but the Spirit of God bears witness with you that this word is for you. God bless you. Shalom.